talked a lot about doing it in Chinese, but we sort of uh, let that go yeah, because yeah. it would be Too so difficult. hard. Yeah, it's very difficult. No, uh, it's it's the sound of Kaiser's orchestra. The language is a part of the sound. Yeah, the vocals blend in with the music very much in this band. You think more sound in the words yeah. than the meaning sometimes, yeah. I, I guess. We try to do both, but yeah. uh, but it's but never. You can do the, the make the lyrics sound great and not being so good lyrics. The goal is to make good sound and good lyrics, mm. but it never happens in this band that I sing uh, good lyrics that doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah, and the opposite, ba bad lyrics that sounds great. great. <laughs> <laughs> They sing as well as they can, and some people move to Norway to learn Norwegian. A lot, of, so a lot of German people are starting to learn Norwegian because of this band. But it is a sort of a mystery and a secret uh, for people and, and journalists up in Norway and Denmark. And when they come, sometimes they they come down to maybe Berlin or Vienna to to to, to uh, do a review of a show there for a Norwegian magazine or something. And every time. They they've just been blown away by it because they you can't really believe that it's first of all sold out 800 people uh, for this band in in uh, in Zurich uh, and then you sing in Norwegian and everybody's singing and and you know it's just uh, never ends the, the the party down there and then so it's been it's pretty amazing it's just uh, we've done it now for three four years so we we, we don't think about it that much. Anymore. Music and the energy is the language here, actually. Very many Norwegian bands make it in Rockefeller in Oslo and different places in Oslo, and we wanted to do something else and also show people back home how things work outside of Norway. And we, we love this venue. It's, a, it's one of our favorite venues, and the, the crowd here is also fantastic. The capacity is also perfect. Yeah. It's big, but not too big. And also, one of the mo most important things, in Norway, we're ten times bigger than here. We're just a huge, massive uh, uh, pop act in Norway. Everybody knows it, and all the nurses, and the teachers, and the plumbers, and, you know, uh, and the kids. Uh, so it, it's become sort of a family, more like, it's more like if Kim Larsen plays here. Everybody just knows it's him, and everybody's going to come. The kids, the old people. So you, and that, and that's not only music lovers. It's just everybody, and that's nice. In Denmark, the ones that the, the 10, 20,000 Danish people that know about Kaiserslautern is like the perfect uh, music lovers. So <clears throat> when we sell out Vega, you just know this, these are good fans that are in, into the music, and they're not here because we're a celebrity or. Or the kids like it, or it's just that because they like it, and and so the the response is, it's like it used to be in the early days in Norway. You know, you, you you come to a point, and and we're at that point in Denmark. That's perfect to be right there. If you double the sales now, you're gonna lose that because then you just get that's too big. Then you then you you have to play in the park, like we do in Norway, play in the cozy park in the middle of the day and bring your family and we're gonna play for you. It's different. It's that is different. We don't. We don't only do that. No, of course not, but uh, to prove a point. It's, it's not the same, because it's, um, it's a mental thing. The, it's, it's always been hard for Norwegian bands to go to Sweden, because they basically don't like Norwegian music. Not any Danish bands either go to Sweden and get big. No. But uh, Swed Swedish band <coughs> comes to Norway and Denmark, so it's the opposite. It's a, it's the the history, they've always been like the big brother of music in Scandinavia and they, they don't want to let that go. So, um, but it's, it's growing in Sweden as well, we, we just played three shows in Sweden and it was basically sold out, two or three. Yeah, Stockholm was, was, was packed. We got a better start in Denmark, so it's, it's going it's more slowly in Sweden. But we're gonna Nailing. Actually, we, we started with uh, Roskilde. Yeah, and the that's first thing, that was the first start. we did yeah. in Denmark. And that was a very good start. We got a lot of press and a lot of new fans and help from the Norwegian fans here. Um, because there's like 
30,000 Norwegian people at the Roskilde Festival, and they all showed up. So I guess it's much because of that first Roskilde concert that we, after that we got like 10 shows in Denmark, so we did a tour. To us it's an inst instrument like drums, it's percussion. Instead of the jungle bonga style, we have the uh, metallic industry uh, percussion style. It suits the music and it's very cool to play and it looks very good on, on stage. You look good when you, when you play on oil barrels. Yeah, we've tried almost every uh, oil barrel we could find, you know, from Texaco or Before Shell. Before we had to steal them everywhere. Yeah. Because then we got some different, and, and we just noticed that they, they didn't sound the same. So, and then that's when we started using only stutter uh, uh, barrels. And when they found out, they said that they loved the, the idea, and then they said, we can give you the barrels instead of us stealing them all the time. 150 shows a year, that's 300 barrels a year. There's a lot of barrels to steal. But b before we, we uh, sometimes <laughs> used the same barrels, yeah. 10 shows, and there was nothing left. It was yeah. just a piece of metal. Mm. But now we get new ones every day, and it sounds... That's good, because of the sound. It but sounds better. To us, it's, it's an instrument. But I know for the fans and for journalists especially, they, they always want to talk about the barrels and the gas mask, and what, what is it about it. And there's nothing really about it, just uh, music and, and, uh, and good looks. <laughs> Hand in hand. More people, bigger venues, everything gets, you know, you know it's, it's more fun to play on this level. And, and we're, we're trying out very much, you know, new I ideas in old songs and we're picking up old songs that we haven't played in a while and we make new songs. Yeah, and we want to keep this job because it's uh, the best job you can get. So 2008 is going to be a Kaiser year. Thank you.